We are going to try to make a YouTube video that software developers are going to absolutely love in just 60 minutes. Software developers are busy people, but what if you want to share your knowledge but don't think you have time? Maybe you've told yourself something like this. I've got a big release coming up. A good video takes days to make. But what if you could find time to make a video and publish it to YouTube in just 60 minutes? Well, I know this is possible because I've done it multiple times before. So this time I'm gonna take you along with me while I make the video so you can see how how I save time, so maybe you can realize that making a video takes less time than you thought, then you can actually start to grow an audience. 60 minutes starting now. I like to make these videos outside, so first thing for me to do is find a spot that's gonna be okay to look at and is reasonably quiet. So there's a guy with a chainsaw. I'm gonna have to find another spot this spot here is going to be perfect. I'm going to set up my chair and my camera. The type of video I'm making right now is a style that's called Talking Head. It's literally a video of me talking about my experience, but importantly, it requires minimal editing. And when you talk off the cuff like this, based on what you've done in the past, it comes across more naturally. You could use the Talking Head style video to share your experience in a coding job or to talk about the struggles you went through building your first SaaS. Obviously, this isn't the style to use if you want to talk about something more technical. In that case, you might want to sit down at a desk with your laptop but you can experiment with different video styles until you find the one that's most efficient. Before we carry on, you might be interested to know that my YouTube coaching program starts in just three days and it will give you the chance to learn high-level content creation skills specific to developers. More information at the end of the video. So basically I've just made it so that my camera is pointing at my chair and on the screen, that's how it looks. Now I'm gonna check it looks okay when I'm actually sitting down and basically my head is too high so I need to adjust the angle of my camera. The final thing before I start shooting is to turn on this little microphone. Now I'm going to record the video. Does this sound like a fair deal? You watch a 12 hour coding tutorial. To avoid sitting down to make a video and getting stuck thinking what am I going to talk about, a little preparation goes a long way. So make sure you always have a backlog of video ideas you're excited to make, which means putting aside some time every week for brainstorming. Another hack is to figure out what your video title and thumbnail are going to be up front, which gets you excited to make the video and helps set the focus while you're actually filming. For these talking head videos, it's a good idea to have a rough outline in your head of how the video is going to go down, or like I've done in this video, write down a few bullet points on my phone. And yes, I did all this up front, so technically I'm cheating, but let's get back to making the video. So I've just finished filming my video. It took a lot longer than I was hoping. I'm gonna quickly review the footage to make sure that I've got audio and it, it actually looks okay. Does this sound like a fair deal to you? So the start of the video is okay, you, and the end of the video is okay too. So we've literally got 25 minutes left. I'm gonna pack up and run back to edit this video, post it on YouTube. All right, so the video is currently downloading onto my computer, then we can start editing it. I'm using Premiere Pro. Create a new project. Now I can import my video. 13 minutes. Once you've filmed a video and if you want to upload it the same day, it's important to have a smooth editing workflow to save you time. And the best way to do that is with a checklist. For my talking head videos, my checklist is pretty simple. Make sure the audio is loud and make sure the video isn't too light or too dark. It's amazing what you can fix in the editing tools. To make editing even faster, I recommend learning all the shortcuts for whatever tool you use. And my favorite thing recently is to use text-based editing so you can really easily cut out the bits where you repeat yourself. Where you repeat yourself. <laughs> Terrible. All right, so I literally just finished doing my text-based editing. Problem is though, time's up. So I'm just going to continue working on this and see how close to the one hour mark I can get it. 
So one thing I really love in Premiere Pro is you can find all the spaces and delete them all. It turns a 14 minute video into an eight minute video. Finally, don't forget to watch your video all the way through, maybe on double speed, before you upload it to YouTube because then it's kind of too late. And there we have it, my video is done. Did we go over the one hour? Yeah, one hour, 26 minutes, still not bad. My rough around the edges approach works for me and the kind of video I'm making right now for developers. And yes, it might have taken a bit more than an hour, but the point is, however much time you have, you can figure out a process that works for your lifestyle. And doing that is gonna make all the difference between keeping that valuable knowledge locked up inside your head and actually sharing it with the world and growing an audience. Speaking of which, if you want to launch or grow a YouTube channel yourself, then why not get help from somebody that's been doing it for six years and has grown a channel to over 30,000 subscribers. Starting on Monday, my new program will help you to figure out what knowledge you want to share with the world, build an audience through high-level content creation and earn an online income. Spots are limited and time is running out, but you can apply using the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.